right, let's get into this crew battle. Uh, we're doing a 5v5, so we got a... Uh, Alright, let's go, baby. Alright, let's go, baby. Uh, we're streaming Arpeggio versus Final Smash. One can only hope that games are going to be played. Alright, bang, bang. Hey, what's going you on, man? What? I got this achievement called What? Oh, what is it? I defeat all of the um, expert bosses. Expert? Oh, no way. I did the all your robbers. Oh, I'm in need. Um, Jer. HS. Let's go.
first people of the day. We got Black Astra. <laughs> Let's go. Mac versus an Isabel. This is a matchup that literally looks like dog water for Mac on paper. But, you know, in a game, anything can happen. And with online Mac being viable, you never know. <clears throat> We're just, you know, getting a lot of F tilts out from Mac. Good parries. It'll definitely boil. Oh no. Yo, neutral B, neutral B! Bro, what? That shit, bro, that shit kills fucking mad early. Man. You know how hype neutral B is, bro? I mean, you'll never see a Mac using it, but like. Actually, the only time you'll see a Mac using it is against another Mac. Just because you have super armor on the neutral B itself. Alright, good uh, F smash read. Good recovery from Mac. He used KO punch. He makes it back, beautiful. And he gets caught in the Lloyd trap, not getting hit by the upper, not dying from the upper is what I should say. All right, getting some up smashes in. Good pivot F tilt, he's just way off the mark. And we're getting the jabs and Black Asta uh, fixes him right up. Good, good grab. Throwing him off stage. Side B trying to get the piv, uh, trying to get the um, ledge trunk. And getting sent off stage buy a fair losing the first stop all right good up smash he got sent all the way up into space good grab all the way to the fair not getting sent off stage uh we're going back into neutral right. good fair pressure by deedles here oh pivot f tilt all right good down tilt but just got the parry but we do have KO Punch on deck and Mac with Rage, KO Punch, Isabel's going down. Oh, good air dodge. Taking away KO Punch from Black. Right now we just see a lot of, uh, just, you know, fair, fair, and then dash back F smash. Curious to see what Mac can do about that. Oh my god, was that the neutral B? And the up air closing off second stock. All right. We have a pretty big deficit for Mac to uncover. That dash attack not hitting for some reason. Up tilt. Trying to get a read off of it. Just, uh, you know, Isabel going on the platform not doing much for Mac. All right. Mac being able to duck under the fares is really freaking good for him. Just because of his running speed actually shifting his hurt box. Good read with the side B and a good up smash. Yep, Isabel being so light definitely helps the case. Good side be coming back from stage. It's just a. It, Max recovery isn't trash, it's just super fragile. And the F tilt taking uh, Dio second stock. And we almost have KO Punch on deck. We have KO Punch on deck. 
Alright, good jab. Good, good, uh, good spot dodge. Oh no. What's gonna happen? And we lose. Sorry, Black. I am not updating the score. Sorry, I'm very new to streaming. Oh no, I added... I don't know who's a Pregio. Let me see that. Alright, Final Smash is actually... On the second. That's gonna be really weird. Hold on, let me change that. So team one is Final Smash. Finzel. Finzel Smash. Where is my team two? There it is. Aprecio. Aprecio. Let's see. Alright, alright. So we got good shit from Black, though, by the way. And then Aprecio, I believe. So Final Smash has. Lost two stocks, one stock extra credit, and a Pregio having going on to their second person.
All right, I'm back, guys. Curious to see what the is a. I missed the whole game, didn't I? Yeah. Samus took it against the Isabel. Which means that's free Samus experience. Let's go. Let's go. Alright, I may or may not get bodied. We don't know. Nobody knows. <clears throat> Samus Kirby. What the hell is Kirby gonna do? How's Kirby gonna approach? This is friendlies though, so. I'm dead. I'm actually dead. <laughs> God damn it. Oh. Oh, we gotta go. Damn it. I wanna fight you. <clears throat> Alright. Good shit, man. You really held your own. <laughs> Alright. Good shit. I'm definitely wanting to see how Spike plays in the uh, crew battle. As being this is ranked, so actually um, shit is on the line, as the kids say it these days. And I get pinged. I swear to god, I only get pinged when I'm streaming. For streams. When I want to stream, nobody <laughs> nobody pings me. But when I'm streaming, bro, everybody pings me. Alright, so they sent in spot. I don't even know where the crew battle is. There it is. So spot is a let's see, spot. No, if I type in spot, everyone's going to see spot dodge, right? Oh, oh, spot is a Falco. <clears throat> nope. No, he's not. No, he's not. Unless he has two crews. No, he's in Arpeggio. Alright, let's go, baby. Curious to see what happens. G...
right, I'm finally back. Alright, so we got a Pac-Man vs. Ness. I wasn't able to commentate the first part, but uh, I see the Ness is doing really good. Spacing people out and using his uh, PK Thunder to zone. Ness actually using the Fire Hydrant as a really good tool because uh, uh, water pushed him back as he PK Thundered, which meaning that he spaced it super well indirectly. Alright, Ness knowing how to, you know, use the uh, Hydrant to his advantage, definitely. You can tell this isn't his first rodeo with Pac-Man. Oh, and Pac-Man eating the... Eating PK Thun... I think that was PK Flash. Um, and just getting a hit by a down smash. Or, yeah, down smash. Oh, nice roll read into the bell. Don't really know what, uh, oh, good F smash by Pac-Man. Okay. Yeah, you gotta love the aggression with, uh, down B. PSI Magnet is such a good neutral tool for, uh, Ness, it's not even funny. And especially with Ultimate having really good movement mechanics. Nesses are just really sick at top level, or at good level. I don't, I don't even know what the fuck top level is. Our, oh, Ness catching the Galaga. Alright, good down, uh, good dash attack. Good bell, and missing the backer just by a hair. And Ness reverse edge guarding with a PK flash. All right, and the hydrant, Jesus. And the down smash, hitting the hydrant, stalling by hitting the hydrant, and waiting until Pac-Man just, just conveniently lands on top of him. Um, It's kind of weird that they're sending a lot of like projectile users against the nest, which is somebody you want to like get really good anti airs against. All right, looks like they actually. Oh. A truck was stolen around 1 p.m. How do you steal a truck in broad daylight? What? All right, score is now six to 11. I apologize for not uh, updating the score sheet as we go on. Oh, let me ask if I can get some friendlies with this guy. This guy's good as fuck. Which spot is this? Okay. There's no way. Oh yeah, that was two miles away. All right, I'm gonna be in the arena. Just pinged him if you want to do a friendly. Let's uh, let's see how it goes. Oh no, never mind. They just sent somebody. And spots bands are FD, Kalos, and Town. Alright, so Vinny T coming into play. Don't know who he plays against. Let's see. Vinny, please. Vinny T is actually a Greninja.
And a uh, little known fact is Vinny T is actually from United States. It's really crazy, guys. Uh, just bear with the skepticism for just a second. There is a very, very strong chance that these players are in the United States. We have graced ourselves with a great brawl. Two players from the same country duking it out for the top slot of MVP. Alright, let's see what's happening. They're throwing a lot of, like, people that, uh, have projectiles. And Ness does super well at breaking zones. Breaking zones and zoners. From what I've seen. I mean, I don't really play. <laughs> so it's gonna be uh, pretty cool to see what, uh, how Vinny T sets himself apart from his predecessors. Oh, and I do detect hints of lag. Alright. And Greninja, what kind of hurts Greninja more is he doesn't really have a charge. He kind of has to charge up the whole thing for the whole uh, neutral beat to take effect. And a, a, just a little bit of PK uh, fire just grazing Greninja. Pushing, helping push spots advantage. Right there, and Nessa's size. Just makes it so that the small ninja star just doesn't really, don't really, make it not do much. That's what I'm trying to say. And Ness with such good burst options, especially online. Just look at that. What are you going to do against PSI Maggie? He's literally drifting on you. There's Joy-Con drift. There's Ness drift. Ooh. Good air dodge. Didn't get the kill. And... He got the kill. Good up air by Ness. Okay. Good down air. I do like the mix ups by Greninja. Yep. Spots just doing godlike movement with uh, PSI. Oh, good. Uh, good getting him into a tech chase position just did not capitalize. Good F throw. Getting him off stage is definitely what you want to do. Ah. Ness opting for the air dodge so the water from Hydro Pump did not do anything. Vinny T is actually getting really good positioning, especially on ledge traps. It's just he's not he's not pushing one uh, ledge option that the Ness can go for. Online, it's super hard to react to a ledge option. So, but just standing there, hoping for one thing to happen, is kind of not what you want to do either. But, Vinny T proving me wrong, like, like the sad sack that I am. Good shit, Vinny. Oh, I have to update the score. Alright, 5 to 10, there's still plenty of time for Final Smash to make a comeback. Alright, PK Thunder off stage, chasing Greninja. I believe that was down smash. Oh, F smash. Just waiting for him to come back, which he does not. We're at one stock to one stock. Aprezio having a really good, really good advantage state right here. Oh, man. And Ness with the reflector. Something I always forget about because I don't have projectile characters. Good up smash. And the down tilt, bro. Ness's down tilt is something else. I don't understand. You can count, cancel a down tilt. You can cancel a down tilt into a down tilt. It's just a crazy ass move, man. It's literally a jab. It's literally as fast as a jab with so much priority. All right, good grab. Fair to grab. And the PK flash taking the stock. Alright, Final Smash in a very, very tough position, having to send their anchor out, not even after the hour has passed. Alright, Spot, let's go for some friendlies, baby. Let's go, baby. Vinny, I love you, buddy, but you're taking up my spot. You're taking up my spot with Spot. Does that make sense to you, Vinny? I really hope it does. Yep, 
Yep, we're at minute, what, 38 in the crew battle? And we're already resorting to the anchor. So I really hope... Our final smash has to have one hell of an anchor. Why can't I spell? Oh, nah, it's good. <laughs> Little does Spot know we have all the time in the world. crazy where's your roster final smash i know who plays on your team where the hell is tennis where is chad where's gordo ramsey you're kind of counterpicking yourself by putting yourself into a position by versing ness but that's just my opinion don't worry final smash i know you can spark the comeback i know you can come back from a deficit like this I can turn items on if <laughs> You got this. I full hearted believe in you. You know why? Oh, button check, they're doing a button check. Bro, literally my crew in a ranked CB, Fizz goddamn Khalifa, took eight goddamn stocks. To close out the CB. He won the goddamn CB. We were fighting Wi-Fi Zelda. Wi-Fi Sonic. And it was lagging all the way. But you know what Fizz said? He said, fuck you. I'm taking eight stocks. And I'm winning this whole goddamn CB. You can do this. I promise you. There we go. We're getting a Bowser. I don't know how this matchup is. Ness can probably combo him to death. But it definitely sounds a little bit better. Especially if... If Glyle knows the matchup, yes, it's better. It doesn't look too bad, but, you know, buffering is buffering, so. Alright, Glyle staling his, uh, ledge invincibility frames. Wait, no, you're supposed to leave. You're staling your neutral air. Good shit. Glyle knows what's up. He would have staled that shit. Let's go, baby. Alright, that's SD 
in, you can finally start the taunts to finish it off, to start it up, I mean. Good fair. Spot looks like he's respecting it more. Definitely because Bowser has a really good up some, uh, up out of shield. Yeah, that's good shit. Good, uh, good ledge attack. Bowser's doing really good work with these nares right here. Nice, 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 nice. And the PK fire to start the combos. No, no combo is getting started here tonight. Good uh, PK flash to try and uh, zone out. Good roll behind to avoid the PK fire. Good timing on Glyo's part. Alright, fair. Getting, uh, getting... Exchanging with the PK fire, and since that move has priority, good up, uh, good side B. Glyle, bro, why didn't they, s bro? You're fucking good. Good shit. We had Glyle this whole time. Good shit, good shit, good shit. You have, alright, so, at Final Smash, definitely stopping the bleeding. But there is literally nothing stopping Arpeggio from throwing in a counter pick. They threw in a counter pick to beat Spike. And, um, who was the Ness who just lost right now? I believe in you, Glyle. Actually, it's probably inappropriate to ask to do friendlies now. Just because Arpeggio is just kind of throwing in people now, just to get us, just you know, just to wear Glyle down, try and take a couple stocks, and then you know, they have about what three people to throw in. So Glyle definitely has his work cut out for him. I'm definitely thrilled to see how he's gonna uh, make this comeback. Glyle saying, no, I am not going to play friendlies with you. Stop asking. Takatake. Tatake. Bowser vs. Icy. Alright, three stocks to three. Good fair. Good anti airing. That's definitely what you want to do. Uh, Nair usage getting shot out by Ice Climber's moves. Our Bowser already taking 59%. But he's letting his presence known by the crucial down B. Okay, uh, Ice Climber's getting out. Uh, yeah, out prioritized by the grab, but that was a long time ago. Good Squall Hammer. Uh, Nana getting hit out. Good Tomahawk into this uh, down B. And with Nana gone, alright, Nana is back. Up B offensively gets hit by Squall Hammer. Yep, that's definitely what the strategy you want to do. Just give no craps at all. Alright. Ah. I don't know. Oh, good up smash out of shield, taking the first stock from Glyo. I don't know if it's a good idea to use, um,. Uh, Bowser's Flame Breath, since it's like a tether recovery, so to speak. 
So you can just like out prioritize that, right? And the icy combos, bro. All right, Bowser taking forty percent already. Good shit. Ah, the high recovery and the down air sending him in two places at once. Crazy. I right, adopted the scores. All right, good up. You got a shield. All right, uh, up smash targeting Nana. Glyle have to, he has to end the stock early. There's no way that he can dawdle right here. Just any any more second or any more stock is a stock wasted in this crew battle. Ooh, Bowser just barely avoiding death right there. 143%. This can either work in Bowser's favor or harp him. Because Ice Climbers, they have such good kill power. But with Bowser having a hunt... A, max rage anything is possible and the up smash out of shield to take the second stop yep you can't you cannot underestimate ice climbers and but the grab missing all right now bowser's just going for nair confirms oh my god he takes nana popo has saved him her shit nana's guy confirmed Alright, Nana just moonwalking back to Popo. Yep, you just can't be happy with side B. Alright, can't be side B happy when you're fighting Ice Climbers. For some Bowsers, it's a straight up addiction. Alright, uh, Glyle at nice percent. He's just gotta take Titakai's uh, last stock. And the SD, we're not seeing an SD. Jump, no jump was created. And Bowser just getting a good upbeat. Bowser at 116%. Oh, man. Alright, good back air taking Nana out of the picture. But Nana just sliding back. And another, oh, three up smashes to take the victory. Good job on both sides. It was a quick victory. I did not expect what was going to happen. Alright, and yep. I'll see you guys. Good, uh, good job. Sonics are easy money. Thank you, Dynamite Danger. I don't know when you sent that. Why don't I have, like, timestamps? Timestamps, there we go. 5.45, so that was 10 minutes ago. Thank you, Dynamite Danger, for saying Sonics are easy money. Alright, Glyle saying, what were we expecting? Thank you, Vinny, for the appreciation. All right. And that ends the stream. Thank you for watching.